Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn, how to make the perfect skin tone, by using the Lumetri Color and Lumetri Scope, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So first go to the Window menu, then open the Lumetri Color and Lumetri Scopes. Now right click on the Lumetri Scopes, and uncheck everything. Inside the Waveform type, select Luma. Now we can see the Exposure Waveform only. Then move to the Effect Controls tab, under the Opacity tab, select the Pen tool, and make a mask on the brightest part of the skin. Now under the Lumetri Scopes, we can see the Skin Tone Exposure only. For the standard skin tone, we can push the exposure is around 50 to 70%. So move over to the Lumetri Color tab. Under the Basic Correction, bring up the exposure and make sure the skin tone lays around 70%. Now turn off the opacity, and check out the before and after. And it looks much better than before. For the dark skin tone, don't push it to 70%, try to keep it around 40 to 60%. Before going to the next step, let's talk about our sponsors for this video. And this video is sponsored by Mini Tool Movie Maker. Mini Tool Movie Maker is a free video editing software, and it's the best video editing choice for beginners. Inside this apps you will get different type of templates, so you can easily export multiple videos and pictures, to generate stylish videos. Find the elements that are closest to your video editing, select and place them on the track, to add the finishing touch to the video. You can check it out under the description link. For this step, we are going to use a mask inside the Lumetri Color. So move over to the Effects tab, and add one more Lumetri Color effect. Now under the Lumetri Color tab, click on HSL Secondary. Then click on the Color Picker icon, and select the Skin Color. Now enable the Color Gray checkbox, so we can see the selecting part only. Again select the Middle Color Picker, and click on the skin that part was not selected. Also, you can play around with HSL, to select the skin properly. As we can see that it's selecting some hairs. So don't worry about it, we're going to fix it later. Now bring up the denoise and blur a little bit. So it will add some feathers to the selection. Then disable the color gray checkbox. So our selection is done, now here is the exciting part. Under the correction, click on these three circles. Now here we can increase the mid-tone and I'm going to change the mid-tone color to a little orange. Bring up the highlights, and decrease the shadow a little bit. Also, we can change the temperature and tint. Add little contrast, and decrease the sharpness, so the skin looks more smooth. And finally, increase the saturation. Now let's check out the before and after. As we can see, it changes some hair color and the background color. So we need to make a mask around the face. Move over to the Effect Controls tab. Under the second Lumetri Color effect. I'm going to use the Ellipse Mask tool, but you can use the Pen tool as well. Now make the mask properly so that it can cover the entire face. Then add some mask feather. And that's it. Now as we can see, it has only changed the color of the skin tone. But there is one more problem. As we can see that her face is moving, but the mask is not moving with her face. So let's see how to solve it. Move the time indicator to the first frame. Under the mask one, just click on the track selected mask forward button. So it will automatically trace her face for the entire clip. And there we go. As we can see the mask is moving with her face. For the last step, I'm going to use a LUT preset. So again, we need to add one more Lumetri Color effect. Click on Creative. And select None to Browse. Here I'm going to use my Cinema LUT preset. And you can download my 15 Cinematic LUT presets pack, under the description link. So select a LUT preset, then just click on Open. And that's all. Now let's check out our final preview. So that's all for today's video, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one, have a nice day.